Welcome to the eighth and final session on the Microfocus DevWeb protocol. In this video, we will learn how to run a DevWeb script in the controller. On the welcome screen, select your DevWeb script and add it to the scripts in the scenario. Locate your DevWeb script by navigating to the specific location. Click OK once you've successfully added your script. DevWeb is just like any other web-based protocol. You can add additional scripts and combine them as necessary. You can find the scheduler at the bottom of the screen. We can set the number of virtual users or V users and how timings will be triggered. The duration is the execution time once all the V users have been started. Finally, we can define the stopping strategy for the V users. Clicking the Runtime Settings button opens a dialog in which you can set the runtime settings for the run. Let's verify that the runtime settings are configured correctly to run in a load test. We want to make sure that the proxy settings are correct for the load generator and that the log level is set appropriately for the load test. The basic configuration is ready and we can now execute the scenario. After clicking the Run button, the controller will automatically move to the Run tab. DevWeb's measurements are reported to graphs that can be found under the Web-based category. Now, let's wait for all V users to start running. Once all the V users are running, you may find it useful to perform various operations on the V users by opening the V users panel. For example, we can click the Show V User Log button to view the V user log of a particular V user. Let's wait for the scenario to finish. Offline analysis is available by clicking Analyze Results in the Results menu. Thank you for watching this video about using DevWeb scripts in the controller. This completes the tutorial series about the Microfocus DevWeb protocol. Thank you.